okay. Check it, check it, check it out. It's Santana again. Stepping, stepping, stepping now. One of them brand new big boy toys. I do big boy things. I make big boy noise. Cause I know what girls want. I know what they like. Like they wanna stay up. Please welcome to the For the most part, this is right in their backyard, too. Oh, yeah. Being from Lodi. Kid's only 18 years old, too. Getting a nice young start on the, on the game. He's a public. Fight somebody in their own front yard. Yeah. <laughs> right. We got tackle in the red. We got petite in the blue tape. Both guys starting out nice and slow. Hard, hard left followed by a hard right. So, man, I am not liking Tack's uh, stand-up style. He's keeping his left hand really low, his right hand high, and his chin very high. So, looking for that looking for wrestler's takedown, and he gets it. That's yep. such a strong kid using a big head and arm takedown. But immediately, Petit is right back. Nice knee on the inside. Petit's using good head position to get control, using some knees, softening up those legs. 
good strikes. Real good cage control by uh, Roland Owen. Yeah, Batista did a great job of controlling the spike up against the cage. Great head position. He's got his head tacked right up against Tack's uh, chin. Not allowing him to get off the cage. Really using pressure. Nice, nice knee to the body. You know, Tack not showing any hips off the cage. There's, there's no desire really to come off the cage. There's not really using that wizard the way that he should. He's not putting the pressure down heavy on that shoulder. He really needs to put some heavy pressure on that and spin himself out. Right now, there's just no movement. He's just kind of accepting this position right now. Yeah, it's not really a good position when we were waiting, so he, he might want to get out of it. Oh, it looked like he tried to buck the hips a little bit. Really needs to get his shoulders off the cage. Right now, he's keeping his shoulders on the cage. It would serve him well to bring his butt up against the cage, push his shoulders off, and then step out to the side to try and turn this. Right, right there is his opportunity. Just really yeah, need for that. The, those punches Petit so he's not doing a lot of damage. really hitting him on the top of the head. It, it, it's, at that point, it's more driving you crazy than anything else. Yep. He's going to go for a takedown. Yep. Ooh, that was close. If he, Tack continues to keep that chin high, he is going to get floored. There's the bell. So he made it into the second round. So Tack showing, if anything else, a good chin. Because he did... Uh, he hit a couple of big shots there. Keeping that chin nice and high. His stand-up looks a little stiff to me. He's a strong kid that I think this is where if he had some training, uh, you know, he's an independent fighter. He's got somebody that didn't bring the stool in for him. I don't know if that was a choice yeah. or just a, an oops move. Uh, you know, no ice, no bucket, no nothing. I mean, he's got a little water. So this is the challenge with anybody that's an independent fighter, guys. If you're out there and you're watching this and you're an independent fighter, go, go to a gym. Yeah, get in with the team. Go, go get with the team. Go get somebody that's going to get you some training. I mean, I get one to be tough and, you know, get in here and mix it up. I think that's great. And I got a lot of, you know, respect for anybody that does that. However, you know, training, in your, you know, by yourself in a garage, hitting a bag is way different than having somebody give you some skills on what to do. Yeah. And Petit's doing a fantastic job. He really has that Nick, Nick and Nate Diaz style of that long, rangy, one-two jab, just pressure, pressure. Two, yeah. Yeah. One two pressure that they throw, keeping the punches way out at the end, keeping uh, Tech way out at the end of his punch. Here we go, guys, round two, Tech in the red, Petit in the blue, little touch of the gloves. Tech is very much a wrestler's stance, man. He's going to eat some more punches yeah. on the left and the right. Yeah, he leads with his chin. Huge. Made a big right hand. But Petit is going for that takedown. Boom, and there it goes. Tack is trying to sink in the guillotine with no, with a, he's got half guard, and he's really just a powerful guy. And, you know, he may get it. He's a strong guy. But he's definitely squeezing. All he's got to do, all that Petit's got to do is do a shoulder roll, and he's out of this. If he gets tapped out by this, I, I'd be really surprised. Because all he's got to do is literally roll over the top of Tack. It looked for a second like he might tap, but... I can't imagine coming out of that camp that he's going to tap to a mounted guillotine. When all he's got to do is shoulder roll out, and then it'll be a scramble, but at least he won't have his dog on head trapped in there. You know what I mean? Yeah. But right now, with one thing that uh, Tacky is doing is burning out his arms and shoulders. Because I don't see... Yeah, and Petit is out. Nice patience shown by Petit. It looked like he, he might tap there for a second. But he got uncomfortable. He's about to gift wrap Tack. He's going to pull that arm across his face, stay in the mounted position, he'll have an opportunity to really throw some shots down. Let's see if he can clear his hand. I guarantee Tack's arms are just on fire right now, too, from squeezing that guillotine for so long. The ref is making sure that there's no gloves being grabbed right there. Uh, looks like he's transitioning himself all the way to the back. Sunk those hooks in. He's going to get a rear hand choke, and this is going to be it. I don't see his hands able to tap right now. Attack is flattened out. Looks like he's got one hand underneath. Able to defend the first choke. Oh, he just made a mistake by bucking up yeah, his knees. Bucking up, he just opened up his neck. He's probably going to get put to sleep. I'm not sure he's awake. Yeah. Yeah, he's asleep. Attack is asleep right now. I'm not 100% sure he was away. Yeah, I don't either. I, I kind of think he was out and woke up in the middle of that. Um, I'm 98% sure. I mean, I saw I saw his limbs go right at the bell. Yeah, 
Yeah, he went limp right at the bell and then kind of laid there for a minute and then all of a sudden popped up. Yeah, I see the guys in the corner talking to him like, are we going to continue? What are we going to do? This is the challenge when you don't know a lot about the fighter too. Like, I don't know how much his guy, you know, his corner man knows about him. I don't know if, you know, how you, you know, you've been to fights where guys show up and they're like, who's cornering you? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know? Well, I don't know. Well, okay, I guess. Yeah. Did you have so somebody else? Here? Yeah. Did you come by yourself? We got the doctor taking a look at uh, attack, and he is telling the doctor, "I'm good." I hear him saying, "I'm good. I'm good." This doctor is very good, and he will stop it. You know, yeah, he's looking right into his done. eyeballs. He's done. He's there. Uh, go. Doctor made this fight off. Honestly, I think that's a good call. I think that he was probably in for some more abuse. Yeah. I think he would have took a lot more unnecessary punishment, and it was a good call by the doctor to wave it off. His eyes weren't focusing on the doctor's eyes, and that's a big thing. You know? Yeah. You know what? I like the kid's heart, man. I, I hope. I don't know where he's from. He's from San Jose, California. And there are some great teams down there. Some Get fantastic one. teams down there. <laughs> some great camps down in San Jose. I mean, just walk into the door of one of them. And yeah, there's so many schools. It's a, I can't even, like... <laughs> You know, and I, I've heard a lot of kids say, oh, well, I'm independent. I ask them why they don't go to a school, and they're like, oh, it's so expensive. You know, such and such charges 400 bucks. And, it, you know, <laughs> 400 bucks at a gym, that's a lot of money. Yeah, well, I know there's a lot of gyms out there. If they got a guy that's got the right heart, they'll find ways to make it happen. Yeah. You can't teach heart. And Andrew Texas, he's a strong kid. He's got a lot of heart. Um, he just needs to work on some technical things and uh... yeah because he's obviously got stones man you don't come into this game without him so but I don't want I don't want to take anything away from over the petite man that was a fantastic debut display yeah yeah no he did a great job he did I mean, a great job yeah showed hands showed Very decent well grappling yeah good hands decent grappling Take it up to the center for our official decision. I don't think there he is. First win goes to 1 0 fighting out of the Nick Diaz Academy. Party all night. So bring a friend. Let me talk to 